Greetings my friends, I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm just a normal guy who's doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. Yes, you notice today I'm wearing a blue top and I do apologize as well, there's a slight mark on here. I think it's paint, that's why I haven't been using it. But I went and put my other top on, which I usually wear, the yellow one, and it seems to have speckles of things on it as well. I don't know if I was eating in it and I got some, I don't know, I can be a bit sloppy. But uh, so that's why I've got this one. Anyhow, my friends, we are on day 23, I believe, and um, yep, 2,201 to 2,300. We're going to get on with it pretty quickly. Um, again, this is the. Let's have a look. Tag friends. I don't know. I don't know if that's come up right or not. Um, anyhow. I might have done it wrong on the live thing, I'm, I'm not really sure. It looks like it's live, but it usually comes up with a different setup. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just crack on it anyhow. Um, so, I was mentioning yesterday, if anyone watched that one, but that I kind of felt like I was forgetting some of the um, previous pie digits, that, which is, I kind of was in a way, because it, like I was saying, I hadn't, um, wasn't that I wasn't taken seriously. It's just the fact that, again, I was just kind of, days went by and I hadn't gone over the sequence of the certain things. Um, I said I do them in the blocks of 100. Um, um, but what I did yesterday, I spent a good few hours yesterday. I must admit, I probably spent about three hours going over uh, past previous locations and that. And even though I wasn't remembering loads of them, uh, by the time I actually got through the 100, it all kind of bedded in again because I'd done it previously and then I kind of went back and forward a few times and I did that with um, about nearly a thousand digits or something. So, and they feel like they're all back in the head again. So it didn't take too long. So that's good. Uh, I just need to keep on uh, doing this obviously regular. What what I've actually said to myself today was I was going to do um, almost every time I stop, like every hour or so roundabout, I was just going to kind of go over a hundred. So hopefully, Throughout the day, I'll probably do at least between 500 and 1,000 digit kind of, um, not rehearsal, I can't think of the word right now, not recital, uh, revision, that's the one he was in awe. <laughs> oh, actually I'll shut the, I'll shut the boot there in case you think I'm uh, cheating in some way. Right, I've took, I was mentioning my me, forms have been given this problem, so what I've done is I've been taking just some um, ibuprofen in, um, in oh, paracetamol today. Uh, not I, I don't really like taking these things um, because I prefer to almost feel the pain if you know what I mean if it, as long as it's not too um, too painful <laughs> but I wanted to kind of just at least numb it and dull it a bit and see what that's like and I feel as though it's, it's took the edge off a bit so that's that's quite good um, and then I'll just kind of so I'll do I'll take them up till I'm doing this and then I won't take them the rest of the day so maybe I take like three sets of them or something but we'll see hopefully it'll just heal itself and um, I can stop taking them right okay let's get on with this straight away uh, six eight six eight three eight six eight nine four uh, right okay so Again, what I'll do is, I know you won't be able to see these uh, digits here, but I'll bring it forward at the end um, so you can see that I've either got them right or wrong. Okay, so what did I say? I said six, eight, six, eight, three, and eight, six, eight, nine, four. Okay, so I'll get through, uh, I'll get through the 50 and then I shall um, discuss a few things there about the journey method and what I'm doing. Okay, let's go. Uh, right. Whoops, <laughs> done that before. Happens from time to time. <laughs> uh, two, seven, seven, four, one, uh, five, five, nine, nine, one. Okay, I still feel a twinge there, uh, but Feel as though it has masked it a little bit. Um, whoop, two seven seven four one and five five nine nine one. 
Okay, again, I'll explain what these things are and uh, why I'm writing them down <laughs> and how it makes sense to my mind and how I'm memorizing them after the first 50. Uh, right, I'm just setting my mind why I'm on the location. Uh, right. Eight, five, five, nine, two, five, two, four, five, nine. Oh, okay. Um, eight, five, five, nine, two, five, two, four, five, uh, nine. Okay. Right, two more sets. Uh, yeah, I hope I've done something. I hope I haven't done anything wrong there. Tag friends, share to group. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a new uh, modification. Oh, forearms. What's with pain, man? I mean, I know why it exists, but you should be able to turn it off if you don't need it. If you're like, yeah, 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 I've been injured, that's no problem. Turn the old pain off there. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, right. Uh, what was I saying? Where am I up to? Uh, yes, okay. Five, three, nine, five, nine, four, three, um, one, zero, four. Whew. Okay, right. So, what I say? <laughs> Uh, five, three, nine, five, nine, and four, three, four, three, one, zero, four. Okay, one more set, and then uh, I'll chat to what I'm actually doing there. Uh, hey, Michael, how are you doing, buddy? <laughs> yes, I'm a strange man doing pull-ups to pie. It's it's a crazy world that we're living. I'll explain in a second what I'm doing. I'm just I'll do these last ten, and I'll go through what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, okay, just setting me head where I am. Nine, nine, seven, two, five, two, four, six, eight, zero. Okay. Um, okay, that's nine, nine, um, seven, two, five, and two, four, two, four, six, eight, zero. Okay, that's the first 50. So, let's see if I've got them right. So, uh, right, I say, you can't see the, you can't see the board from here, but when I'm finished, I always bring it forward so people can see. So, just check that. I've got all the digits right. Okay, so that's the first 50. So I'll just explain uh, to Michael what, what I'm doing here. So, so I'm doing like 10,000 uh, pull-ups to pi. So I'm memorizing 10,000 digits of pi to get in my head. Uh, there's for various reasons of doing that. And I just thought I would do 10,000 pull-ups alongside it because I thought that would be pretty cool uh, for various reasons there's like a world record attempt that I want to attempt once I've got the 10,000 digits in my head that involves uh, doing in blocks of five so currently I've got 4,900 digits memorized for the most part there's a uh, I would probably say to uh, about 97 percent I would say it's kind of in there um, so this is quite a long, a long thing I'm doing. I'll, I'll do like a hundred, a hundred a day, Monday to Friday. So and this is day 23, so it's going to take a hundred days. And then um, after that, I'm going to train myself to do the full 10,000 in one week and sitting. So it could take us about 40 to 50 hours of trying to memorize the full 10,000 digits while doing 10,000 pulls. That's again, it's uh, I need to. So that's probably at the end of the year that I'm going to do that. But if you've never really done any memory training before, it's quite it's quite a simple process in a way. It just takes a little bit of work. So what I use is it is a it's a person 
person action object thing. So what I've done is I turn every every digit, every number uh, into a letter. So I'll give you the um, the rundown. So zero is O, uh, one is A, two is B, three is C, four is D, uh, five is E, six is S, seven is G, eight is H, and N is nine. So then I take the characters, for instance, um, six, eight, uh, so that's six is S and eight is H, so that's Sherlock Holmes. So he's doing the action of Sherlock Holmes as well, uh, which I used the Johnny Lee Miller one from the TV series Elementary. So there's a few things I can actually use. So in my mind, I'm on a specific station here. So this is actually beside a white van. Uh, I've done this journey method thing. So I've gone out and I've took loads of photographs and I'm walking this journey and I need 20 stops for every 100 pi digits that I want to memorize. Then I place five digits on each stop. So this one's in a van. So he's in the van as Sherlock Holmes and he's getting out of this submersion chamber which I use as one of the the actions of Sherlock Holmes and there's a big tree there three is tree um, or can be other things as well but it could be handcuffs it could be um, so that's what I do and then I move to the next station and then I latch on like this one is eight six so it's Han Solo um, so and the next one's Horatio Nelson so he's doing the action of Horatio Nelson which quite often I just haven't been sick because he's He's like the the um, the sailor guy, the general or admiral or whatever he was called. But apparently he was seasick, so I create that action, and then four at the end one can be door, or can be um, you can have a, either a number rhyming system or you can have a number shape. So four looks a bit like a boat, so you can actually just see them on a boat, or again, it four rhymes with door. So again, so you use. So the last digit is either number shape or number rhyme. Um, and the, uh, all these digits here are, the first two digits are the character, and the next two digits that are uh, doing the action of that other character. So that's the general gist of it. Anyhow, I'll get on with the, uh, I'll get on with the next 50. Um, just reset my mind and see where I'm at. Uh, okay, right. Uh, <sighs> Eight, four, five, nine, eight, seven, two, seven, three, six. Uh, okay. Eight, four, five, nine, eight. That's, um, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> and seven, two, seven, three, uh, six. So that's, um, what do you call him? I'm trying to think of his, I'm thinking of his name, uh, Humphrey Davies, who invented the mining lamp. And he's turned it into the Hulk, which is Ed Norton. So it's, an eight represents snow, because it looks like a snowman. So it's uh, the outside. Um, and he's been, he's angry for some reason, so he turns into the Hulk. So again, it's just creating these, um, these fun scenarios and you exaggerate them. The bigger, more exaggerated, or the, you can smell them, taste them, you can have all kinds of things going on. With the, it's like a little movie each time. Okay, so, uh, okay. Four, four, six, nine, five, eight, four, eight, six, five. Uh, right, four, four, six, nine, five, eight, four, eight, six, five. I'll just get on with the air. I'll get through this. Uh, three, eight, three, six, seven, three, six, two. Two, two. Whew. Oh, the fun, the fun that I do, <laughs> the fun that I have. Um, okay, what did I say? Eight, four, eight, six. Okay, so that's three, eight, uh, which is Thor. It's the actor Chris Helmsworth, and uh, he's throwing his hammer, and it's coming back, 
because seven represents a boomerang. Three, six, two, two, two. Okay, uh, we've got four digits, four, four sets of five left, and then that's the that's the hundred done. Exciting times. I said I've injured my forearms a bit, so <laughs> not surprisingly, a bit of a strain, but it's okay. It's only pain. Um, okay, three, six, two, 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 one, two. Th okay. Um, what's that? Six, two, six, zero, nine, um, nine, one, two, four, ah, six. Uh, okay. Um, what did I say? Six, two, Sean Bean is bouncing a basketball because that's Shaquille O'Neal and it's floating off like a balloon because nine represents that as well. Neil Armstrong, nine one, is doing the action of Bob Dylan and he's throwing things onto a big bonfire. Uh, okay, last two. Um, okay. Zero, eight, zero, five, one, um, two, four, three, eight, um, eight. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Uh, zero, eight, which is Oliver Hardy, uh, dressed as a doctor, Omar Epps. And they're eating some food in the in the Royal Hotel in Willie Bay. Whew. Bob Dylan is throwing uh, Thor's hammer onto a big skip, and it's it's like frozen. It's snowing. So there's the other eight there. Okay. Whew. See if uh, see if these are right. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Okay, so uh, so here's the here's the board. Um, so if you can read any of me writing, hello. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyhow, that's that's the that's the hundred a day. Uh, you see, I've got this I've got this book that I document everything in. So these are all from like from like day I don't even see it like from day one which is there. Uh, I was having, I've been learning how to do it a bit differently, so I've been writing again, front door, gate, fence, post, just giving myself all these locations to kind of place the five digits on. Um, and then, then in the end I, I decided that I didn't need to write descriptions because I could just hold it in my head, the journey anyhow. Um, so then I'm, like I say, I'm up to like basically 4,900, I, I need to learn about 100 a day. Well, I need to learn 400 a week to keep up with, um, to do the 10,000 digits. So it's not too bad, I've, I've kind of got it down. Probably takes us about 15 to 20 minutes to get 100 digits in my head. And then what you should do is you should review it. So once I've learned them, I use pictures actually on, on my phone. I took pictures of all the locations so I use my phone to see the location and I attach the numbers to them, the characters, the little movie scenario in my head. And then I do the hundred and then I kind of go backwards and I go forwards and I go backwards until it's locked in. Then I check a couple more times through the day to make to try and reinforce it. And then it's important maybe to do it the next day and then maybe try and miss a day or so and then catch it again. And you've got to kind of catch these things before the before the memory fades. So, and once they're kind of in there, it's like the, I would say the first 3,000 digits are pretty much in my head permanently now. And now and again, I might get a character the wrong way around with the action, or I might uh, forget what the, the last digit is. Um, it's just, but, you know, we haven't got perfect memories, but it's um, it might seem an impossible thing, this, but it, it's just, once you've got like this, person action object 
Um, so like I say, every number from 00, zero which is Ozzy Osbourne, up to 99, which is Nick Nolte, everything in there, I've got a character for, and an action. Um, so then I just, any number I can see, like phone numbers or whatever, you can just create um, a little story or just place them in objects around the room. Uh, the, these things here could be place, a, a place an image. Um, I could have the people hanging off the bar, I could have them at my um, the table there, at the door, you know, it's, it's wherever you place these things and then you revisit them again. So use your house for instance. Uh, try, you know, try it yourself Michael, kind of look at the first um, 100 digits of pi, find 20 locations in your house, um, you know, maybe start in a, in a bedroom, like try and have a sequential thing, so either coming from your front door, then like the, either the living room, in the kitchen, then maybe upstairs, and maybe the toilet, bathroom, whatever, so it's all kind of in order, and find 20 images, then place five uh, numbers on each image, uh, or location, shall I say, and then kind of just think of it in your mind, and then try and go back, you'll, see, you'll be surprised uh, how easily the, the things sit actually in your mind, but it takes obviously a little bit of practice. And uh, I mean, I don't always see these images as like a clear image. It's just sometimes it's quite, it's quite uh, vague even, you know, but it just still sits in there somehow. Sometimes it's a bit clearer for us, um, you know, so it's, it's different for everybody, I think. Anyhow, so that's uh, 20 day 23 out of the way. So uh, yeah, still quite a long way to go, but uh, we're doing it and that's the main thing. Uh, I don't know if you saw the pull up pie song at the beginning, Michael. It was, uh, I do, you know, it's a little ditty. It's like, I'm doing 10,000 pull ups to pie. <laughs> it's quite funny. Anyhow, but cheers for tuning in. And um, I shall see you guys tomorrow at some point through the day. I don't have a set time for it. It depends how I fit it in with me painting and all that stuff uh, and the other things I'm doing. But uh, yes, anyhow, please uh, sh spread the word to people that there's a mad man learning pie and all that jazz. Uh, okay, cool. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Um, sorry, my YouTube people. Uh, um, again, I had to when people come into the into the live chat on the phone, I have to again go over things a few more times. Uh, so I apologise for that. But uh, you know, I shouldn't have to apologise. It's just, it's just what is it? You might be like, well, that's what we want. We want the info, Lee. Give it to her. So yeah, like I was saying early on, um, I kind of I felt a little. No, I wouldn't say pressure is not the word, but it was a little bit like, oh my god, I've got to I've got to keep on top of this again. And, I've got to try and learn this hundred extra digits a day and things. I'm like, what? Well, I get swamped up and then everything will just start tumbling. That's so I'm glad that again, like yesterday, I spent a good three, four hours going over things. So now I just need to make, make sure every day I'm learning as many or, or re revisiting as many stations as I can until they're really bedded in there. Um, and like I said, the first 3,000 or so are pretty much in there. I wouldn't like to say. Um, at what point they start to kind of, they need a bit more work, but the more times I hit them, like, like obviously you can imagine the initial ones, the first thousand, the first couple of thousand, I was hitting them all the time, I was going over them again, too, maybe too many times, but I think they're pretty much bedded in there. Um, I mean, yes, there's again, there's a good chance I could forget a few of them or just, you know, just like, as whatever the mind does, it might deteriorate. I don't expect things to be permanent, especially if I just like, you know, if I never did did it again for a year, then try to see what I remembered. That'd be quite interesting. But I'm I'm not going to do that because I'm I'm afraid of remembering everything. No, sorry, forgetting everything. Okay, my friends. All right. Um, so actually today, I'm going to experiment with because I've been using locations. Um, I'll just check. Sorry, I'll just check the back here again. Okay, it's uh, I've been using locations of like benches and just landmarks along the routes and things. You know, vans and. Uh, lampposts, like say bushes and whatever. But on what I've done now is I mentioned you probably didn't watch the one the other day, but I mentioned where I'm uh, 
I'm looking at movies or TV shows now. So I was watching uh, Indiana Jones in the you know, in the Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I took loads of pictures. So I'm going to experiment and see about latching them onto them because that'll be it'll make my life a little bit easier that I don't have to chips around and get pictures of things. And plus, actually, I think it might possibly work even better because, especially if you pick favorite favorite movies or favorite TV series and things. As long as there's enough variation within there's some traveling or you know the locations of the certain rooms so sometimes you might just use the the room or a few rooms in one particular show and just use it for a couple of hundred stations and don't use it for anything else you know so um i'm i'm interested to see how this kind of pans out so i'll let you know tomorrow my friends right have a good day and i'll see you tomorrow my friends it's uh yes we're doing more pull-ups to pie bye bye <laughs>